The Boxer 8x8 combat reconnaissance vehicles have more firepower, the main cannon is larger and more lethal, and the detection and communication systems are cutting edge. Boxer is not a one-trick pony. It is a proverbial Swiss army knife. The federal government has commissioned 211 of the vehicles, making up $5 billion of its overall $200 billion spend in defence. Today, Australia is living in the most significant period of geostrategic transition in our region since World War II and a time of great technological change. The first 25 Boxer vehicles will be built at Rheinmetall in Germany, but Australian businesses have been assured the project will create 1,450 local jobs during the production process. 12 small businesses will be engaged when the remaining 186 boxes are built at Rheinmetall's base in Ipswich, west of Brisbane. It's expected that will start next year. We have a diverse range of trades and businesses involved in the first boxer, ranging from manufacturing of brackets through to paint specialists and communication specialists. The Defence Minister is also confident that a major component of the vehicles, the steel, will also be Australian made. That is the plan and the certification process is uh, um, going as expected. But can we guarantee that given we were told that would happen? I, I, think, I think General Coghlan has answered that answer <laughs> yeah. twice, yes. But look, can I also make the, the point well, that it's not just, the, no, it's not just, it is not just about the, the steel, which General Coghlan has uh, indicated that that is yes, the answer is yes. But what goes into these vehicles behind, as you can see, it is not just a steel box. As well as the production of these vehicles, the boxes will also require maintenance. They have a 30-year lifespan, which according to the Australian government, will result in around $10.2 billion for the nation's defence industries over that time. There will also be the maintenance of a fleet of 3,500 new army trucks. Anna Rawlings, Sky News.